Anybody that's been here for a while will know that I am a huge fan of DeWalt Extreme line of tools. Today, we're going to answer the question that a lot of you have asked. What do you think of their new 916th rotary hammer? And is it really a rotary hammer? Does it have what it takes? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out. This is the DCH072. It's their Extreme 12 volt max 916th brushless SDS rotary hammer. This rotary hammer delivers zero to 4,280 blows per minute. It has a no low speed of 910 RPM. Optimal concrete drilling is between 5.30 seconds and 3 eighths of an inch. Total tool weight is 3.7 pounds. Here's the deal. We have a nice handle. We can adjust our depth. <laughs> it has a nice handle here. We're able to adjust our depth so that we're not over drilling our holes. It has a selector switch. This is a drilling and fastening rotary hammer. There is no chipping function. There is no just hammer function with this. It's either drill or hammer drill. Now here's the deal. This is SDS Plus. So, I don't know. If you've been here for a while, you know we might test it a little bit outside the bounds. I mean, why wouldn't we, right? So DeWalt says that optimal drilling range is between 5.30 seconds and 3 eighths of an inch. But it's a 9 16 rotary hammer, so what I plan on doing here is starting out at the low end of the range, 5.30 seconds, give an idea how it performs in this 5,000 PSI concrete. Then what we'll do is we'll go somewhere in the middle, like 3 eighths, then go to half inch, and then maybe go even further out of bounds, 5 eighths. Let's do this. Crazy part is, is that this is Diablo's rebar demon. It's got like four cutting heads on this little 5.30 seconds bit. And if you did encounter rebar, like this would cut through it. It's bizarre. If you want to find out more about this, you can go to this video right here. We have a fully charged three amp hour battery. This is 12 volt, just so you, you know, we're all aware. And let's see how it does. It's not necessarily <laughs> what the depth gauge is used for to measure how deep we went, but you can see how quickly we drilled that hole to that depth. Now, here's the other thing that I really liked about this. The, the hole itself seems like it stayed consistently tight. Now, I don't know if that's because of the, the blows per minute or the the way that it impacts, but that hole's not blown out. This seems like it really would be good for what the wall intends it for, setting anchors. Maybe you got a bigger anchor. This is a 3 8 rebar demon. I will say that this is the upper end for optimal drilling. I gotta be completely honest, when I started drilling the hole, I didn't plan on going that deep, but it seemed so effortlessly, I was like, I might as well just keep going. I will let everybody know, and you can see we're down, we're down to the depth stop. Drilling that hole though, we did take a bar off the battery, but it's to be expected. I mean, that is, that is not the intended case use 
for this rotary hammer, but we were able to do it. This is half inch rebar demon. Uh, I know what you're gonna say, it's a 16th under. If I need to open up an extra 16th, usually what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just oscillate my tool. It's within the hole, it opens it up. I don't need to be that precise, you know, Our tool shut off. Let's see if the battery just timed out or, or what the issue is. So it looks as though our battery either timed out or it's dead. It does say we have one, we do have two bars. I'll let everybody know that it is definitely warm. But luckily, I got another one. So if you're gonna go outside the bounds with your rotary hammer, your 916th rotary hammer, you're gonna have some, some extra batteries. And I don't suggest that you do it, right? Especially if you need to do it frequently. Your expectation of being able to do that is gonna be not met. So I'm telling you to set an expectation of if you're gonna be drilling with bits this size, you're gonna to want to upgrade your rotary hammer. With that being said, let's try something a little bigger. All right, we have 5 8 inch rebar demon. And just because you can doesn't mean you should. Pretty impressive and if you like somebody going outside the lines so you don't have to and you can manage expectations on the job site or when you're buying tools then smash the like button it's free for you to do it doesn't cost you a dime plus you'll get seven years of good luck leave it down in the comment section below what do you think of the Waltz extreme line of tools I think it's pretty extreme let me know if you agree with that I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here thanks a lot everybody hope to see you all on the next one Things pretty doggone cool.